Uh, we got John from Virginia writes in. He goes, hi, Joe and Big Al. Love your show. Listen regularly. I'm 53. I have no debt and recently retired. I was a franchisee of one fast food restaurant that I sold in December for $5.3 million. What do you think? What kind of fast food? Good question. You don't, there's no vegan fast food, is there? Not really. No. Don't go to them much. If I, if I have to go to fast food, I probably, what would I pick? I probably would go to a, I go to a Mexican place, get, Chipotle? A, get a bean burrito. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got it. Um, is Chipotle, is that, is that fast food or is that fast food fresh? It's pretty, it's pretty fast. I mean, wow, the marketing drive. has worked on you. You, you don't oh. drive through, but it's pretty fast. Got it. Depends on the line. <clears throat> Um, I have money invested, but my question is about 401k money. Uh, due to the sale of the business, I recently had to close down my company 401k plan. I transferred my 401k money to an IRA with a local investment company. I had $733,000 in my 401k when I moved it to an IRA. I met with my advisor today in that due to my age, I may want to consider doing a backdoor Roth conversion. Tax-free. Uh, growth and no RMD sounds great, but I'm having trouble swallowing the tax that would be due if I did this. Taxes would be somewhere in the $330,000 range. Is this a smart thing to do or should I do it in smaller amounts so I could stay in a lower tax bracket? I'm not sure what my income will be in the years ahead, other than I do have a couple of rental properties and we'll bring in roughly $35,000 of income. What is your opinion on this backdoor Roth? Does this make sense to me or for me? Um, well, first of all, I don't think he means backdoor Roth. I think he means Roth conversion. Well, if his advisor is giving him that advice and saying, we're doing this backdoor Roth and it's going to cost <laughs> you $330,000 in tax, you should fire your advisor. True. Uh, and, and if the advisor is telling you to do convert the entire thing and go ahead and pay the 330,000, then also fire, fire the advisor. Fire. Either either way. Either way is good, John. Because what John hit the lottery, right? So he's got his fast food restaurant. Yeah, he sold it, got a big payout. Yeah, $5.3 million. Sure. Um, and then he has a 401k plan of 700,000. Right. So if I take 700 into 5.3, I mean, that's a pretty small percentage of his overall liquid assets. Sure. Even though it's a big number. So, and he's 53 years old, right? He's got 20 years before he's forced to I, pull any of this money out. Totally agree. And he may have more than that because they keep changing the RMD age later and later. So, so John, the, the concept is to figure out the appropriate tax bracket to convert up to. Maybe it's 12%, maybe it's 22%, maybe it's 24%. That's where you need to do a little analysis, convert to that level this year, next year, the following year, and so on, and get this done slowly over time so you're not paying maximum taxes here. Yeah, you, you can slowly bleed this thing out. And if they, you know, if they change the law, then you can reevaluate. Um, John, a backdoor Roth um, is when you make an IRA contribution and then you convert that IRA contribution. Uh, but then you have to be careful of pro rata rules and aggregation rules. Since you rolled your 401k into an IRA, and it sounds to me that you don't have any earned income, um, you might have had for last year. So you could have done a backdoor Roth if you kept the money in a 401k and you made an IRA contribution. Um, I'm assuming because you sold this <clears throat> and your ordinary income was probably X amount of dollars that you probably didn't qualify for a regular Roth IRA contribution. So A, you could have made a non-deductible IRA contribution and converted it. That would have been a tax-free transaction. So it, even though it's only six, 7,000 bucks, that's the backdoor Roth. Since you rolled your money 401k dollars into the IRA, it blew up the pro rata rules because now you have 753,000 or 733,000. Um, but to be honest with you, it, it's not that big of a deal. Right. I would just start slowly converting the $733,000 out. Yeah. And, and so you say your rental property is 35,000 of income with the standard deduction and depreciation. Let's assume you got zero taxable income. And then 
I don't know if you're married or single, but but you pick a bracket. And I would I would be comfortable maybe with you even going up as high as the 24% bracket, but you don't have to go that far, probably, because it's not like you have a fortune in the IRA, number one. And number two is you have almost 20 years to do these conversions. So so don't pay any more taxes than you need to. Hey, um, Al, we got in a couple minutes here. We got a, a question here from your uh, real estate webinar. It's like, if you own multiple rental properties and you have a significant loss on one property, can the loss be written off against income from the other properties or other income? The, uh, the answer is yes on that. Uh, there's, there's two kinds of losses that you could have potentially on a, on a real rental property. One is just the ongoing losses from your rental property. In other words, your rental income minus your expenses minus depreciation creates a loss and maybe a significant loss. That's considered a passive loss. That passive loss can be used against any other property that has income. So the answer is yes, you can net those two together. The other way you can have a significant loss is if you sell a property at a loss, a little bit hard nowadays because properties have gone up so much in general, but let's just say you had a loss on a property, you get to take all of that loss and you can use that against other passive income uh, and, and, and it's fully available uh, actually against other income as well. I've oversimplified it because there's, if you group the properties, it's, there's different rules and just be aware of that. But in general, yes, anytime you have a loss on a rental property, you can use that loss against other income from rental properties. Are you prepared for retirement? Schedule a free financial assessment with an experienced financial professional right online at purefinancial.com.